Imagine if you woke up from an accident and the only thing you could remember is your identical twin's face. No memory of your family, of your life, nothing. And then you discover a shocking secret. The Netflix documentary, Tell Me Who I Am, walks with twins through this exact scenario. Alex and Marcus are twins in England, and after Alex has a motorcycle accident, he wakes up in the hospital with complete and utter amnesia. The only thing he can remember or that he even recognizes or knows is Marcus's face and that Marcus is his twin brother. His home is unknown. His parents are strangers. He has to relearn so much, even how to tie his shoes. This Netflix documentary is told in three parts. The first two parts are individual interviews with each of the twins, and then the last part is with both of the twins together. For us as viewers, there is a mystery playing out of what is going on, but it's also for Alex as well, because his entire, well, his entire life, really, all of his memories up until the accident, the only thing he knows is what he has been told by Marcus. So if it's a true event or it's not a true event, it's all been based on what Marcus has said. As the story unfolds, we are taken on this heartbreaking journey of discovery. And what is discovered is really heavy. This is a very intimate documentary. I mean, it's beautiful to look at and it doesn't really seem to have any sense of bias to it. And then it's also handled with a loving and a compassionate touch as well. This documentary could be an emotional trigger for you, especially if you have experienced trauma but there's also a cathartic experience to it as well as we watch the brothers go on this journey. If you have experienced trauma, you might find a small sense of healing as you go along with them. I honestly found myself open mouthed, barely breathing at points because it was so emotionally raw, but I'm glad I watched it too. It's not an easy watch, but it is a fairly quick watch and I think it's definitely worth it. I mean, especially as we get to just listen to the story unfold and we get to see each side of the story from the brothers' perspectives as they're telling what they know. And it's crazy from Alex's point of view because he, he does come to that realization a little later in his life that, oh my gosh, everything that I know to be true is based on somebody else's recollection to me. I don't remember experiencing any of these. And then Marcus is, he's on his own thing because he's like, I had to tell my brother what we did. I had to educate him on who we were as a family, as brothers. And then you gotta wonder, well, if that were me and I was doing that, would I keep all of the happy moments and take out some of the sad moments? Would I take out all of the sad moments? What would I do? How would I censor the story that I'm telling somebody in an effort to maybe save them some heartache or that it's just unimportant? And then all of the stuff that I don't even remember that happened too. I mean, think about you know telling a story to somebody, even if you experienced it and you don't remember it until somebody else tells you, oh, hey, but we did that, oh yeah, okay. Well, so there's still going to be gaps in Alex's memory, even though he was told all of this stuff that he by Marcus, because Marcus may not have remembered everything either. Now, like I said, it is a tough watch. It is worthy of your time if you decide to watch it, especially if you're into documentaries. But again, beware that it could be an emotional trigger for some people. There's brief nudity, sexual dialogue, and profanity, and some descriptions of violence. I give Tell Me Who I Am four and a half out of five couches. Can you recommend a good documentary for me to watch? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris, this is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.